What's going on guys, Press Reset Earth here, and today I'm going to go over some information that's definitely going to blow your mind, okay? This is crazy, what I'm about to show you, alright? And this is an article out of a local CW affiliate, and this incident, by the way, was also reported on by a local NBC affiliate. Um, mother outraged after spotting satanic symbol in school bus brake lights, okay? And this is a picture of it right here, okay? You can see that's an upside-down inverted pentagram, all right, well-known, one of the most infamous satanic symbols. Uh, you can see here, uh, it also represents the Baphomet, another infamous version of the inverted pentagram, all right. Uh, yeah, this was, okay, this is a school bus in uh, Cordova, Tennessee, and by the way, this woman who reported seeing this uh is she didn't reveal her identity because she was reportedly receiving death threats after sharing the photo on social media what why is she receiving death threats uh and from whom very interesting now i decided to look more into the school bus company here called durham school services and here's their website um some information here. I'll leave links to all this, by the way. Um, and they're actually a subsidiary of the National Express Group, one of the premier transportation firms in the United Kingdom. So I did more research into them. And turns out, ah, wow, this is going to blow your mind. The chairman of the National Express Group is a man named Sir John Alexander Armitz. All right. And he became the chairman in January of 2013. Now let's look at what else he was he's been involved in, okay? And right off the bat, this guy was the chairman of the Olympic Delivery Authority. That's the body charged with building the venues, facilities, and infrastructure for the 2012 Olympic Games. For those of you that remember the 2012 Olympic Games, for those of you awake that remember, you may have noticed the blatant, abundant Illuminati symbolism involved. As you can see here, just, I mean, type it in on, on Google if you don't believe me, uh, on YouTube, whatever. You can watch the Olympic Games in 2012 and you'll see these all these weird structures like this, the pyramid with the capstone, very similar to what we have here on the dollar bill in the United States, right? with the eye, the Illuminati eye, and you can see here the these characters are running around uh, in sort of mascot suits during the, sh uh, you know, performances at the 2012 Olympics. And, of course, how could we forget, oh, yes, how about this one? <laughs> the dark, evil wizard with his wand <laughs> overlooking all the little children. Of course, pedophilia being one of the most notorious, um, disgusting vices these satanic elite that run the planet uh, engage in. It's, it's, it's sick, I know, but the symbolism is all there. The eyewitness testimony is all there. You gotta, if you're unfamiliar with this, you got to look it up, okay? We have a satanic cabal running the planet. <laughs> Case closed, all right? It's, I know, it, it's crazy, but it's true. Oh, man. And, of course, I mean, the symbolism doesn't end. You have the phoenix rising from the ashes. You have all this stuff um, during the 2012 Olympics. And this guy was in charge of, remember, the venues, facilities, and infrastructure. Okay? W what is all this? The infrastructure, the venues, and the facilities. All of it. Okay, this guy was the chairman. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I mean, he literally looks like a dark wizard. I mean, he looks like, uh, you know, Voldemort uh, from Harry Potter. That's what he looks like. He looks like a, a lizard uh, combined with Voldemort. That's what he... <laughs> um, And that's the guy we got... Um, that ran the Olympics, and that's the, the guy that put, is putting satanic symbolism on your children's school buses, okay? This scumbag, uh, John Armit, 
uh, to top it all off, check this out. He, he was knighted, of course. He's a sir. And um, his knighthood was criticized by the family of a victim of the Grey Rig Rail derailment as Armit had been serving as chief executive of Network Rail at the time of the 2007 incident. So this guy just so happened to be chairman during this uh, you know, tragedy which occurred in the UK. Network Rail were prosecuted for the incident on the same day that Armit's knighthood was conferred. What do you know? Oh, it sounds to me like he was congratulated and initiated. He passed his test. He showed his commitment. Of course, I am just speculating. But it, it, it sure seems suspicious to me, this whole thing. With the network rail derailment in 2007, him being the chairman, um, and him being knighted on the same day that they were prosecuted. Wow, okay. Very interesting. So there you go. There you go. John Armit showing you what he's all about. And uh, and this this is the largest transportation company, a uh, school bus company in the world, I believe. Okay. Uh, National Express Group. And he runs it. And they're putting satanic uh, pentagrams on your school buses. Um, <laughs> unbelievable. They're literally bringing in the, the, the satanic society. Okay? The new world order. And they're doing it with their symbolism. They're doing it uh, on all fronts. Okay? People, w we need to expose this. This is really, really a big deal. This has all already been confirmed. So, hey, let me know what you think, okay? And uh, share this video. I'm out. It's been Press Reset Earth, and as always, keep your head up, stay real, and no fear.